health education and behavior was previously known by other names and its original name was health education monographs because it set out to publish single issues on single topics usually with two or three or four papers it was smaller in size when i proposed or applied for the editorship i suggested that i'd like to do several things i wanted to introduce much more editorial and commentary narrative uh, into the journal. I wanted to see the journal be a home for the discussion and debate and dialogue about the critical issues facing our field. I also wanted to globalize and internationalize the editorial board. Uh, up until 2010, I think the board was largely uh, composed of scholars who were domestic North American uh, faculty members and over the last five years we've been able to uh, develop a board that is much much more global we now have uh, editorial board members from France from Sweden from Iceland from Australia and we've been able to I think attract some of the best scientists behavioral and social scientists to the board of HENV we have several members of the Institute of Medicine uh, one of our board members this past year has been the president of the American Public Health Association and the third thing I wanted to do, of course, was to um, keep the impact of the journal uh, moving forward. And, of course, in the, the world of um, publishing bibliometrics, something called the impact factor is, um, you know, the key metric by which, um, um, you know, many academics and many library systems and others make judgments about the quality of the work that's being published. And we've been able to do that over the last five years. We've seen a steady increase in the impact factor. Um, I think we've been able to do that while still balancing the use of the real estate of the journal pages to accommodate editorial and comment. And in addition to those um, six uh, issues that uh, we published during the year, we've been able to publish several important supplements during the period of time that I've been editor. One of which has been uh, the supplement on system science and health promotion in public health. 